Hey guys, today my name is Fran. I mean, it is every day, but today specifically, as Fred, still, I want to talk about VRV, the streaming service. If you're wondering what the verb streaming service is, it's basically a very niche streaming service um, dedicated towards geeks. I mean, everybody's a geek this day, but this is very, very niche, all right? I'm about to kind of break down a little bit of uh, everything goes on, um, what the service has to offer, and if it's worth it, whether I like it or not, whether I think you should get it or not. All right, so first off, let's talk about what kind of, what, what do I mean by it's very niche, all right? So Verb is very special in the sense that I call it Verb, you can call it VRV. Um, Verb is spe very special service that it's, um, instead of buying a la carte uh, services a la carte one by one, um, Verb offers them to you in a bundle form. And so, but you're not getting, before, don't get ahead of yourself. Before you think, oh, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Disney Plus, I can get them all in one. No, that's not what VRV is about. I'm gonna tell you, this is very, very. You might not even heard of these streaming services, but VRV used to have about I think eleven or twelve services. Now they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight services all together that they offer. Um, they have Boomerang. You should. You probably know what Boomerang is. If you don't know what Boomerang is, it's basically like older Hanna-Barbera Cartoon Network shows. Um, you know, Flintstone, Scooby-Doo, Kids Next Door, Kersha Cowardly Dog, Juniper Lee. Um, they have all those shows on there. Um, this uh, this is a great part of um, the Verb, kind of just a kind of differentiating part of Verb. But honestly, the Boomerang side of things, it's hardly ever updated. I feel like they update it, they do even like once or twice a year. Um, and so, unless you really just want to watch all the Scooby-Doo's over and over, Tom and Jerry, then there's there's nothing new or original in there other than the same stuff you've seen. They don't really have Dexter, they don't have Adventure Times. So it's like, it's missing a good chunk of these boomerang shows. But, personally for me, I still use it because I like Scooby-Doo. But I'm not, you know, gonna pay a streaming service just to watch Scooby Doo. Anyways, on to the next um, service they have provided um, Cartoon Hangover. If you don't know what Cartoon Hangover is, they're an indie um, kind of uh, cartoon content creator. Um, they are started out on YouTube. They are by uh, Fred Raider Studios. If you don't know who that is, they are the same studio that gave you guys Fairly Odd Parents and Adventure Time. So. Pendleton Ward, the creator of Adventure Time, he's one of the partners for uh, Cartoon Hangover, and he has a show on here. You may have seen that on YouTube before they sold out the Verve, um, Bravest Warrior. So, you know, that's you, you get a little bit of something from every service that they offer here, in case you're not catching that on. Um, and so they have Bravest Warriors, they have Bee and Puppy Cat, they have really, really cool. Um, indie cartoon shows available on Cartoon Hangover. Um, and then of course, Verb has Crunchyroll. If you don't know what Crunchyroll is, you're probably not an anime fan, but Crunchyroll is basically an anime streaming service. Um, I believe that it's all sub, and there's um, uh, some specials in there, special films here and there. I think they added the Naruto movies recently, but for the most part, it's mostly just like a the, the anime shows um they have most animes that are um pretty popular so you know dr stone your academia one piece naruto um all the big ones that you can really think of it's gonna be on crunchyroll and what's awesome in crunchyroll is that they do simulcast meaning that as soon as it comes out in japan it pretty much comes translated with subtitles for who, wherever um crunchyroll is available for service Next is High Dive, which is another anime service. Um, what's different is High Dive from Crunchyroll is they have some more, even more unique animes not available on Crunchyroll, nor Funimation. Funimation is non verb, unfortunately. It used to be, but it's not anymore. Funimation, what, did it, it, what it offered, and I wish it was still here, was the um, fact that it had dubbed shows and dubbed specials and dubbed films. Um, and they do have some shows that Crunchyroll doesn't have rights to. 
Um, High Dive has the same thing. They have some shows on there that uh, Crunchyroll doesn't offer. Um, personally, I, I like anime, but I'm not as deep into anime as most people are. Um, and so there's a couple shows on there that I do watch, um, like K-On! I'm very excited for it. That's just a really good show. It's not really a new show, but I still like it a lot. Um, the next one is Mondo Animation, and it's another indie animation um, service. Um, there's nothing really on Mondo that I'm watching as of yet, but if you're really into uh, supporting uh, you know, indie artists, indie filmmakers, indie cartoonists, Mondo and Cartoon Hangover are great. Same thing with Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth, if you're not familiar with them, they came from the YouTube, the golden YouTube era, where uh, you know they did all those uh, blue and red Halo um, videos, mini series. Um, they do a lot of some some of those original um, stuff, and they're they're working with uh, Michael B. Jordan. They have uh, Gen Lock, I believe it's Gen Lock, and um, so yeah, they, they have some really really cool hits here on uh, Rooster Teeth. And then the next one I want to talk about is Nick Splat. Think of it as like Boomerang, but for Nickelodeon shows. But it also has the same problems. There's not a lot of shows on here. It doesn't get updated as often. And whenever they do update, it's just like a rotation of what should be available. So say you wanted to watch Cat Dog, it's on here. But second season might not be available this season. Or say it's only the second season available. It's and it's only like six shows at a time. It's like what is even the point of Nick's plan now that it's on here, you know? I I feel bad for the people that are paying money for Nick's plan separately. Because Verve is a great deal, by the way. In case you didn't know, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's ten dollars a month. With tax it's about eleven. Um and so you're getting all these services for about eleven dollars, um, and if you were to pay for Boomerang and Nick's Plus, it's probably like seven bucks a month, and Crunchyroll is like eight bucks a month. So for you to just pay ten bucks a month for like eight services, that's that's actually quite a steal. But you know, if you have so many things to watch now, you might be asking yourself, why do I need this, right? But another before I before I get to the why, I want to talk about the other service uh, provided on here and that is the VRV Select. So these are um, Verve Originals, VRV um, shows that are that doesn't fit into any of the other subscription categories like a, it's not a Cartoon Hangover show, it's not a Boomerang show, it's just, just completely separate. Um, and so sometimes they'll have movies on here that you can't watch anywhere else um, but really what's uh, Verve, Verve's number one like original show is the Harmon Quest show. And that is basically Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty and Community. He has this show where he plays Dungeons and Dragons live on stage with three other people. Um, one is usually uh, the guest star, and then what's cool is they play them, and then after the episode's over, they animate them, and then you kind of see like them reenacting um, what was going on there in the Dungeons and Dragons about an animated form. So it's really really cool, um, and I'm. I'm a big fan of this show. Now, let's get back to the why you should get this service. Now, for me, I personally got this service because, one, I wanted to watch Scooby-Doo. And it was just a better deal overall than paying $8 a month separately for Boomerang. You get Crunchyroll, you get Verb Select, you get um, Rooster Teeth, you get Cartoon Hangover. Those alone, I would watch not even when I'm just bored. Like I genuinely like Bravest Warriors. I genuinely like Scooby Doo and Kids Next Door and Cat and Dog and I love and like I love One Piece anime Hero Academia, you know, Hulu doesn't offer all the episodes for One Piece. So it's it's just nice to have something that's really, really niche. And I suggest that you only buy it if you really like anime and cartoons in general because that's that's what a lot of what they offer you know and, and I think the ten dollars is worth it if you're not if you feel like you're not getting enough of those content with say your Hulu Amazon Netflix and your Disney pluses right so overall I want to say that just verve it's, it's a decent service I would recommend it if you got the money to spare but if not, if you feel like you got enough content to watch and you can get all these shows on these other services, 
and don't bother honestly it's it's like one of those things where you just like if you have the resource to do it just do it if not don't it's you're not really gonna miss out as much as as much as you think you would as far as like uh, functionality like how easy it is to navigate the service I would say from my experience I use I use my phone my iPhone and my Roku to watch um, Verve and what I noticed is that on the iPhone it's it's smooth it's fine it works fine it's easy to navigate but on Roku and on TV I noticed that um, when you go into uh, one of the subscription services, so you go into Boomerang, Mixlet, and they have the list of shows on the side, sometimes it'll have shows just randomly like being blank. So you'll see like, ver uh, you'll see like say Cat Dog, Rocket Power, and then a blank space, and then another show, and then another show, and then a blank space. It kept doing that, and I didn't know if it was the Roku or the app itself, but. I didn't have any problems with that on my iPhone. It was just during the Roku whenever I did that, you know, it was really hard to navigate. Um, it, it's one of those things where I wish it was a bit easier to navigate um, the service. It, it should be one of the 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 working functions. It's a basic function because you're watching shows in about like twenty five percent of the time. That's what you're doing on a streaming service. You're navigating to see what's available, and so that's. If that's something that bothers you, then this might, this honestly might not be for you. But just to end it off, I just want to say that it is worth it, in my opinion, the $10, you are getting all these services. But if you feel like you're getting enough with Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and Disney+, Plus, then I'd say just hold off until you, you feel like you can afford it. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.